All right, guys, um, welcome to tonight's team call. I am Corey Mayo, your CEO and founder of Team Living Healthy and Fit. It is Wednesday, September 6th. I, like, it's crazy to me that we are already in September. I feel like this year has just flown by. But it's a fresh new month, a fresh start to work towards your goals, to keep working um, on setting small obtainable goals to get to the bigger picture, right? To keep moving ourselves forward and to keep showing up, to keep learning and to keep growing. So we have a coaching, um, a day in the life event coming up and that is going to go down on Sunday, September 10th. Okay. So that's this weekend. Um, we are going to, um, Tammy and I are hosting another day in the life where we're going to share about the coaching opportunity. Okay. We're going to share who we are, as, who we are as coaches, what we do as coaches and help those who we want to share the opportunity with decide if it's a good fit for them as well. Okay. So it's a little bit of, um, everything so that they get to learn more about what we do as coaches and about the opportunity. So tonight I'm going to share with you how to create a successful event. What does that look like? How do you invite to it? Um, who do you invite to it? And what is the content that you put to create a successful event for a what is coaching group? Okay. So mark down on your calendars that this Sunday, September 10th, that we are, our team is hosting an event. Okay. So we want to have as many people as we can in that group. So that's open to you girls as well. That's not just for my prospects. That's not for just Tammy's prospects. We host these every month to help you girls grow, to help you share this opportunity with the, your followers and with your dream team. So this will all make more sense as we go through this call, but I want you to write that date down and I want you to start thinking about who your dream team is. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and screen share. And we'll dive right into the call, okay? So, how to run a coaching opportunity sneak peek. Well, first, what is a sneak peek? Let me see if I can, without that being in my way, let's see if we can view this full screen. There we go, that's better. I'm going to hide this up here. Okay, perfect. So um, this is a place for you to share your story, the story of your team, to highlight what we do as coaches and to share the amazing community and ultimately help your dream team decide if this is a right fit for them too. This is not to persuade people to join our team. This is not to coax people into joining our team. This is to help those who we want on this journey with us help them decide if this is a good fit for them too, okay? So this is also called a sneak peek, a backstage pass. Tammy and I have been calling it a day in the life. What is coaching event? A glimpse into coaching. There are all different kinds of names for it, but essentially it's still an event or a group or a webinar that is presenting the coaching opportunity with those who we want to join us on this journey, okay? So the steps to running a, a successful sneak peek or a coaching opportunity group are one, make your dream team list, two, invite your dream team to that event, three, the actual event, and four, the follow-up or using three-way calls. We're going to go through each of those steps individually. Step number one is making your list, okay? So some of you are brand new coaches and we haven't really gone over creating your list in the mentoring group just yet. That's coming up this week. But your list is simply your contacts. It's people that you know. And when we're talking about inviting the people who we want to be in the coaching opportunity with us, our dream team, if you will, those are the people who we really want to work with very closely one-on-one. -on -one. one of the most amazing things about this opportunity is the fact that we get to decide who we invite into the coaching opportunity, who we get to bring into our tribe, into our community, right? Who is a part of our team? 
So you get to make that list. So one of the challenges I'm going to, or tasks that I'm gonna ask you to do after this call is to sit down and write out your dream team list, to think of those people. Those people might be some of these people here to help you kind of jog your memory and to help you think of people that you would like to invite. This can be parents. Your spouse absolutely should be on that list. Siblings, your ride or die friends, your best friends, your closest family, if you're really close with cousins and aunts and uncles, rock star challengers. So if you're already running challenge groups, who are those people who are already standing out that are showing and showing up every day, engaging in the groups every day, essentially already doing what we do as coaches, empowering the other people in the groups. Those are going to become your best coaches because one, they're feeling good about getting results themselves. And two, they're going to already have a story. They already have a story with the products to share that with people and to inspire other people to make changes in their life too. And to invite people to start taking those walk that walk themselves. Okay. People you admire in life, those go-getters, people who you see that are being very successful in life, who are very driven, who are passionate. They might not necessarily be into health and fitness. They might not have, you know, be healthy or fit at all at this point, but you know that they have, there's something that you admire about them, right? There's, there's just something different about them. Maybe they're very inspirational and positive and a light on Facebook and all of the other and negative posts or Maybe they're a go-getter in their job and they're really good at what they do or at anything that they do. They're just a very driven person. You can also, in your Coach Online office, underneath the train tab, there is a section where there is a memory jogger. So this just simply gives you a list of all these different people that you can will kind of jog your memory of people that you are connected with, but maybe their name isn't popping up right away. And it can kind of help you to get over that hump of, you know, this, this visual block or this mental block of who you could invite or create your list with. Okay. So that is how you create your list. Okay. Uh Oh, we went one too far. Got a little excited. Okay. So step two is inviting. We should be actively inviting one to two people to the coaching opportunity every day. This should be a vital part of your daily invite. So to typically invite or in, in our vital behaviors, we should be inviting at least three to five people every day. You guys, that's the bare minimum. Okay. So one to two of those people really should be coaches. And if you want to amp up, um, the results that you get in this business or the, the speed of your growth, you're going to have to do more, okay? Your numbers are gonna to have to look more like five to 10 people a day and um, probably two to three in the coaching invites, okay? Does that make sense? So if you invite 10 people, seven of them might be challenge group invites, but three, two to three of them are gonna be coaching invites or to the coaching opportunity, okay? Um, this can be very scary. I understand that, especially when you're a brand new coach, cause you're kind of like, well, I don't really know what I'm doing yet. So how can I lead somebody else? You absolutely can do it. We've all been there. Remember, we all start at the same exact place. Okay. That's the beauty of our team. Okay. We have a great team. You guys lean on that. I'm not asking you to host your own event. I'm hosting it for you. I'm just asking you to invite people to it. We already have mentoring groups in place. So we have a way, we have a system to train new coaches, to help them get focused and to help them um, build their business. So don't allow those things to hold you back, okay? So you, you follow the five second rule, five, four, three, two, one, and you hit send. If there's a reason that you're drawn to that person, that they're on your dream team list. So don't be afraid to invite them. Invites might look something like this. Remember, less is more. Don't word vomit. So when you invite someone to a challenge group, to the coaching opportunity, we don't want to give them all the information up front, okay? Because that's really overwhelming and people get afraid and then they just don't respond or they're like, I don't even know what she's talking about. So for a newer coach, 
um, a coaching opportunity invite might look something like this. Jess, I know this is super random and I really hope you don't mind me asking you about this, but I just got involved in a business I'm super excited about and I cannot stop thinking about you. I'm not asking you to join right now. I'm not asking you to be a customer. I'm simply asking you to help. I want to get a group of people who I really trust and who I know will give me honest feedback and tell me the truth. I want you to come to a webinar that my coach is hosting to explain the business that I am in and supporting me to give and support me to give and support me to give that doesn't even make sense i must have when i was typing ha ah. so to support me and to give me your honest and real opinion at the end of the presentation i would love to hear what you think will you be around on and then you insert the date so like for this upcoming group you would say will you be around on september 10th okay so that's one way Another very um, non-confrontational and kind of very um, laid back approach for a newer coach would be, um, Jess, I know this is really random, but I had to reach out to you because I can't get it off my mind. I was super nervous to ask you for some reason, but I just got involved in a business that I'm really excited about and that has to do with my fitness journey that I have been posting about. It honestly, it's honestly changed my life so much already. I know it's in the beginning stages, but I already know I want to, where I want to take this. I respect and admire you so much for, and you insert what you respect and admire them for. Are they a go-getter? Are they driven? Are they passionate? Are they uh, inspiration? Are they a light on Facebook? What are the things that you admire about that person? Insert them there to make it personal, okay? And I want to build this business with you. You are the first person that popped in my head, and I know this is vague, but there is so much more to it, and I really want to tell you about it in detail. My team is having a live sneak peek on, insert the date where you can learn more about it. I would love to have you hop in, hop on, um, that should be hop, not hope, hop on if you'd be up to learning more. Is that cool? So you guys, these are scripts. I don't recommend taking them word for word, okay? But they're a way that you can craft the post. Like, I know this is really random, and I'm, I was nervous to ask you about it. You're probably nervous, right? Be honest with people, it's okay. You can be honest, but still be confident in what you're doing, okay? So it is kind of random because you're reaching out to them out of the blue, and you probably are nervous about it, but you are excited about this journey, and it's in the beginning stages, right? Because you just signed up as a coach, and you're not really sure about everything just yet, but you're really excited about where it's going to take you. So that's showing your confidence, and it's just simply asking them to take a look. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense so far. I'm gonna open it up for a second. Does that make sense so far? Thumbs up, yeah, we're good, okay. So, now we move into step two, inviting. So, another way that you can do this is to edify your friend or your prospect. That means to compliment their roses, okay? What, um, again, what do you admire about them? You know, what, what is something that draws you to them? Point out the characteristics that would make them a good coach that you genuine, genuinely admire. And then you ask, have you ever considered? We have to ask the question. There has to be the yes or no, okay? So once they say yes or sure, let's dig a little bit deeper. Don't just add them to the group and expect them to make the connection. Find their pain points and their dreams. So. When I say edify, I, I gave you two examples of um, scripts, right, to invite. And the way that I invite most of the time now is, hey girl, like how are things going? I have been thinking a lot about you lately and um, I really admire X, Y, and Z about you. I'm not sure if you've ever considered this, but because I admire X, Y, and Z, I wondered if you have ever considered doing what I do as a health and fitness coach. I might ask like that, or I might say, I might put in some of their pain points that I know. I recently invited a girl who works non-staff, I mean non-staff, but she likes to play hard too. And I just said something like, I know this is kind of random, but I really admire your, um, your drive and your passion to work hard and um, accomplish big things in life, but also play hard as well. I'm not sure if this would be for you or not, but have you ever considered doing what I do as a health and fitness coach to not only keep working towards your own health and fitness goals, 
but also help to give yourself and your family a bit more freedom and a little bit more play time. Okay. So I kind of played off of what I think her strong suits are, but also what I think her pain points are. Okay. Because I really truly believe that this can give so much more freedom than that particular girl works 60 hours in five days. I don't know anybody that wants to work 60 hours in five days and go home to a family and still have normal household, or, you know, like be a mom, be a wife and take care of a house. Like that's a lot of stress on somebody. So, and she only got one day off of work and then went right back to 12 hour shifts. So think about that. And um, Rami really starts to get into that in the book that we're reading right now in our mentoring group about identifying why this would be beneficial for people, why our business would be beneficial. What are those pain points? How can we help them just beyond the, the health and fitness side of things, beyond the community? What else can this give them? We have to start painting that picture. So that's how we're going to start painting that picture when we ask them the questions, when they say yes, and you say, um, let me go to my next slide. So then try asking some questions like, thanks girl, I really appreciate you helping me out. Before, um, before the event, do you mind if I ask you a couple questions to see if this could be a good fit for you? They usually say yes or whatever, and then you, go, you can come back and you can ask them to describe. Now you're not gonna ask them all at one time, right? These are just some example questions that you can kind of sprinkle in and maybe make some of your own as you know, you know certain things about people, but you might not know all of their story. So some questions might look like, what describes your current situation? Are you employed and love your job? Are you employed and hate your job? Are you employed? Are you a stay-at-home mom? What is your nutrition and fitness regimen? Are you coachable and willing to learn? If you could change one thing about your life, what would it be? What are you willing to do to make that change? What are the priorities in your life? What would you do with an extra $100 a week? So with that last question, that's most people. The, the facts are that most people would love to have just a couple extra hundred dollars a month. Okay. So when we start kind of, you start painting that picture, what could you do? What would it mean to you to have an extra hundred dollars a week? Okay. That's a very baseline, but it starts to open up that vision. Okay. And allow them to start thinking, well, I could pay for all of my groceries with an extra hundred dollars a week, or I could pay for my car payment or, you know, it allows them to start dreaming a little bit that there is more out there. So step number four, so we've gone through the group. We've asked them the questions. We've gone through the group. Step number four is going to be the follow-up. Okay. It is your job to reconnect and ask what they liked about what they saw. Why? I feel like we skipped a whole step. That's because we did. Ha. I'm like, that's not right. <laughs> oh, it's because I keep clicking. Okay. Let's just make sure I didn't miss one. Sorry, girls. My computer can be sensitive at times. Okay. So step number three, so we aren't getting too far ahead, is the actual event. Okay. So this is a Facebook group that Tammy and I are going to run on Sunday. And the group is going to be one day as far as I know. Tammy and I are talking on Friday to collaborate. It doesn't really matter what your event looks like when you start doing your own. Um, you can do one day, you can do two day, you can do three day. I wouldn't recommend doing any more than three days. Um, people start to get disconnected. They don't have enough, they don't see the value yet enough to invest three days or more of their time into an event like this, okay? And life happens, right? People get busy. So. With the event, you're going to pair up with two to five other coaches. This gives a different perspective and relatability for your prospects. So a lot of times our followers and our prospects know our story, right? They follow us on Facebook. They follow us on Instagram. They follow us on Snapchat, wherever your social platform is. They're, they already kind of know a piece of you, but it just further solidifies um, the community, this opportunity, and the business when we have more than one story to share, okay? So 
pairing up and it takes the workload off a little bit, right? It helps you to feel confident that you have a friend to join you in doing and hosting the event. So pairing up with two to five other coaches. Um, topics to cover, your own story. So um, what we would recommend is you starting off your event with your story and then covering a topic, okay? So some of the topics that need to be covered that I feel are important to a successful coaching event are, what are the four vital behaviors? What do we do as coaches, right? We simply are a product of the product. We share our story with others. We invite people to join us because we are getting great results with being a product of the product. Um, we do personal development to grow our minds and to grow our confidence and to just grow as a person and then recognition. So inspiring and highlighting other people for doing great things. So highlighting the four vital behaviors so they know exactly what we're doing as coaches. Another good topic is to cover common objections or hesitations. So I would recommend sitting down and creating a short list of your, you know, top, two to three objections or hesitations that you had before you enrolled as a coach. Have each of you or have one coach that's helping you host the event cover one of those, okay? And you typically want them to cover one that they had to. So a lot of times um, I'm not at my goal weight or I don't really know about the product, or I don't really know about like, I'm not a nutrition and fitness expert, basically. Um, it's a pyramid scheme and I don't have the time. Those are the top four that, or the money objection. So top five are normally the, the hesitations or objections that you may hear, right? So covering those, you know, um, and touching base on how that related to your story using feel, felt, found. And for you newer coaches, that means I understand that you feel that way because I felt that way, but what I have found is, and then you share a piece of your story, okay? So covering common objections or hesitations, how we, having another person or another topic is how we earn money, both commission and um, with the volume of your team. However, not going into deep detail on that um, with percentages and things like that. And you may not even fully understand all of that yet. And that's okay. That gets to be too confusing. And when people get confused, they get unsure and then they back away, right? So just covering the fact that there's two sources of income. We have commission, which is um, like based on our sales. And then we also have a passive income, which means as we grow our team, our income grows as well, okay? Um, and then how they get started and that you'll be plugging them right away into a team training. So one of the biggest hesitations is like that they won't know what to do. They, we as coaches know how our team is and that we all love on one another and we have each other's back, but they don't know that, okay? They don't understand that once they come into the team, that they're going to have somebody guide them through the process. They're, they're not sure if they're just going to have to figure it out on their own or if they are going to have um, that community of people, that family to support them, not only through their health and fitness journey and keeping on track, but also through the business and growing their business. And you guys, that's not something to be taken lightly, okay? Not all teams are like this. So take pride in that and be confident that you can offer your incoming coaches a solid team who is going to have their back and upline that is going to help guide them and mentor them through the process. That isn't just going to sign them up and say, peace, thanks for the money, and let them try and figure it out on their own. You have a team who's going to have your back. Okay, so remember that sets us apart because as much as I hate to say it, not all teams are like that in our business. So take pride in that and use that to set yourself apart from the rest. Okay, um, thank them for their time and then offer an incentive by rolling and by enrolling by a certain date. And again, remind them of the team training. So you might say something like, you know, 
we have like a, a, a team journal or um, a small little, like I have, um, I get them at TJ Maxx, but I have a, they're like inspiring notebooks basically. And they're five bucks, you guys. They're five bucks and you can get all different sizes and they have different quotes on them. And I mean, they're just something sweet and nice that, you know, it makes you feel good. And it's something for them to get started. Just doing little things like that to say, you know, when you enroll with our team by, you know, tonight or by Friday or whatever it is, you will get one of our planners and don't forget, you will get plugged into our team training on Monday. So just really quick, our team training we are doing a coach mentoring program um, once a month at this point, okay? And we already started on Monday. But I know that Dana, who is on this call, and a couple of our other girls have gone through the program on their own. That's one of the reasons that I put week one, day one, week one, day two. It's also for you girls who maybe have gotten a day behind and need to go back and get, you know, find which one you need to catch up on. But that's so we're already a weekend, but anybody who enrolls this weekend can jump right in the group and they're going to get that one-on-one -on -one support. They don't have to wait an entire month to get started in a mentoring program. Okay. We can get them plugged in right away to have that community surrounding them. Um, so then the follow-up. It is our job as the coaches to reconnect, okay? It's not their job to follow back up. It's not their job to reach out and ask questions. It is very rare. I've had it happen, but it is very rare that somebody will reach out to you and say, I'm ready to go right now or reach out to you and ask questions, okay? Because they're thinking about it, all right? And they want to know if you really have their back. So it's not uncommon for them to not reach out. So don't feel like you're a failure if they don't message you that night and say, hey, I'm ready to enroll. It's great when they do because they're a go-getter, but that doesn't always happen. So I would say within 24 hours, you want, while they're excited, while they got that sense of community, while they got that encouragement from our team, you want to say, hey girl, I just wanted to check in with you. I really appreciate the fact that you took time out of your day to check into our group and you were a part of the event. I would love to hear what you liked about what you heard or what you liked about what you saw, okay? Always lead with what you liked. And the reason is because there are gonna be hesitations. There are There is gonna be fear because this is something totally different, you guys. One, there's a ton of MLMs out there that bombard people all the time. And two, it's still a very new platform for people to wrap their heads around for a source of income and as a job. So you want to try and hinder those fears that might hold them back because of the unknowns and encourage what they did like. Did they like the community? Did they like the sense of working on their own health and fitness? asking them what they liked about it. And then the last thing is utilizing a three-way call with me. So I am putting this out there for any of you. I am always, always, always willing to do a three-way call. So you can say, you know, I, I'm glad that you have some questions. I'm glad that you got to check it out. Um, would you mind if I scheduled a three-way call with my upline coach or my business partner, or however you want to word that, you know, would you mind if I scheduled a three-way call with my business partner so she can further answer your questions and give you a little bit of a different perspective than mine? That takes you off the hook for having to know everything, especially when you're a newer coach, okay? Because you might run across questions that you're not so sure about. So utilize me. That's what I'm here for. I've been doing this for five years. I still don't know everything, but I can direct them in where they need to be. Okay, we can work through the conversation and help them to answer those questions. So don't be afraid to ask me, hey, Corey, are you available on such a, you know, whatever day? I'm usually pretty flexible. All you got to do is ask. Okay, so I just wanted to put that out there. That is it for that. So I'm going to stop the screen share. All right, girls. Hopefully that makes sense. So what I would like for you to do. Um, is we have that event coming up this weekend. So please take 
10 to 15 minutes over the next 24 hours, make your list. Who is on your dream team? Who do you want in this opportunity with you? Okay. And then you are going to invite those people. Hi, Greg. You're going to invite those people to join you on this opportunity and to join you in that group. Okay. Would it be helpful if I copied and pasted those scripts into a file in our group for you girls so that you could have them to kind of just kind of copy and paste and alter to make your own? I can do that. Um, so let's do it. Let's get some people in the group to share the coaching opportunity with them. I will um, copy and paste those scripts for you and put them in the files tab of our group so you have easy access to those. And I think that's all I have. So if either of you have any questions, you're more than welcome to ask away. I have a piece of hair tickling me. <laughs> okay, I have a question. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so I already have someone who, like, wants to do this, and I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm just like oh uh, okay hold on like I just the thing about it is is like you talking about all these people and I don't know if like this kind of applies to just like random people because like most everybody that I talk to like I tell about this anyway so like everyone kind of knows like what I'm already doing so like all these people that I have in mind like already know so I don't know if this necessarily like applies do you know what I mean? Like these scripts and things like that. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like I can be more honest and open with them and it's not like I have to do this. So I'm just kind of wondering like how that fits in for me. Yeah. So, um, like to invite them to the group, you mean type of a thing or to the event? Yeah. Like, can I just like be just like, Hey, I got this thing coming up. Do you want to come? Like that sort of deal. Like, does it, it I know like, it's not exactly like how you presented it to us. Is it okay if I do it like that to people I at least know who will be like, oh yeah, I'll totally do it. Like that sort of thing. Like I don't really have to like sell them on it, I guess. No, no. So like I, I totally, those are just scripts for like, um, just like as a guideline, you absolutely should make them your own and you should um, kind of do your own thing as far as how you talk to people. And if you have good open relationships with those people, I would just say, Hey girl, like I know we've kind of talked about what I've been doing lately. I'm really excited about it. We have this, um, a day in the life, you know, coaching sneak peek coming up and you're one of the people that really comes to mind when I want to share this opportunity or whatever, you know, like how you word that. I really okay. want to be a part of this with me because of, I would, I would at least like, edify them like tell them why you think they would be good at it because there some people might go well why do you think I should do it so if you already yeah. say as you're inviting them like hey like I think you would be really great at this because of blah 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 I would love for you to be a part of it with me and just yeah totally make it your own those are just uh -huh. guidelines to help you like start getting some ideas and how to word things um but absolutely, if you've already been talking to people about it and they've been receptive and, you know, you've had open conversations about it, don't be afraid to just invite them to it. Okay, cool. Cool. And then as far as your girl who is interested, like, is she interested in doing a program because she wants to work on her goals or she's kind of interested in the coaching opportunity? I'm thinking right now it's more program based because she like just had a baby. So I don't know if she is ready to like commit to like coaching and all that stuff, which is totally fine. But, um, yeah, I mean, we've been friends for a super long time and she's seen where I started and where I am now. So I think that's kind of like helping her see like, oh, well maybe like I should start looking into this too. So I'm thinking she's more program based at this point. I haven't talked to her today, but I'm going to probably tomorrow. So we talk all the time. So it's not like, my window closed or anything in that way, but it's just like, Oh my God. I like instantly had someone. I was like, Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. No. So I would just ask her like what her goals are. Um, if you don't already know them, um, obviously okay. probably finding some balance with being a new mom is going to be on that list. And then I would just ask her, I always like to ask questions like, what do you struggle with when you're working towards that? Do you, do you feel like you struggle with knowing what to eat or how much, or just creating some balance with nutrition? Um, and then 
when, um, when I ask about fitness, I say, um, are you struggling with making time to work out, kind of knowing what to do, having something at home to do now that you have a baby and you can do it while baby's sleeping, like different things like that. And just kind of find out what, what her goals are and what her struggles are. 99.9% of the time I am recommending the all access challenge pack to everybody because honestly, it's the best deal. Um, the challenge packs are what set people up for success because it gives them Shakeology while they're trying to find their balance with their nutrition. It gives them the portion control containers so that they learn about nutrition and then they have access to every workout program, right? Yeah. Every year. Like it's just such a good deal. Um, so that's typically what I'm leading with my script for the all access, um, challenge pack and inviting is in the files tab of our group. Um, it should be uh -huh. one of the top files. I encourage you to check that out. Again, you don't have to copy and paste it, but just kind of follow it as a guideline, you know, as how once I find out what their goals are, what their struggles are, then I lead into the all access script and I just say, perfect. I know I have no doubt that together we can work towards that. What I would recommend is, and then it goes into the script. Okay. So that that way, I'm not telling them too much, but I'm telling them to, you know, to overwhelm them, but I'm telling them enough of what they're going to get. Gotcha. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So helpful. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And if you have any questions at all, like when you're messaging her or you're like, I don't know how to answer this, just message me. I don't, you know, not that I can do that for the life of your coaching, but yeah. <laughs> when you're new, like I am totally open to like helping you find wording and, and how to kind of fumble through that because I fumbled through it on my own, so um, I figured it out. But if I can save you the pain, I, I'm here to do that. So, perfect. Yeah, so just let me know. That's exciting, though. Yay, I know. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Well, I'm excited for you. I'm excited for the growth of all of you girls. You're all doing an amazing job. The mentoring group is going well. Um, do either of you have any more questions? No, I don't think so. Mm -mm. All right, cool. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to be on the call tonight, girls. I hope you have a great rest of your evening and um, just work on the mentoring group and then also work on getting some invites out for the um, coaching group. I'm going to work hard at getting that group set up tomorrow or Friday at the latest. So that way you can start adding people into that as they say yes. Okay. All right. All right, cool. Talk to you later, girls. Thanks. Bye. Bye.